Kinetica 1 of CAS Space loses control, New Glenn static fire, SpaceX gets ready for his flight test number 7 next week, review of the last two weeks of rocket launches, Happy New Year 2025 to all of you, I'm Christophe Baget from All About Space and this is your Space Update. You might have seen last week, while I was on holiday, the first episode of my latest series, All You Need To Know About European Rockets. Well, this episode will therefore contain two weeks of space news. The next episodes of the European Rocket series will be released during the month. We start the space news with a law for CAS Space, who has had a failure of his Kinetica 1 rocket, during his mission Dear 3 from the Tiuquan Space Launch Center in China on December 27th, resulting in the loss of 11 satellites, including the Kazasat A magnetosphere observation satellite from the University of Aix Marseille. The failure occurred on the third stage only, three seconds after engine ignition, where it started losing its attitude control and therefore triggered the automated self-destruction shortly after. CAS Space is of course focusing his effort in troubleshooting this issue and reconfirmed to his customers that it will intend to send eight rockets in 2025. Let us move on to more positive news now. Blue Origin has finally static-fired his New Glenn rocket at his launch pad number 36 in Florida on December 27th. The test lasted 24 seconds, firing its seven BE-4 engines, not at full power, and also ran at full power for a short period of time. Blue Origin has recently received his launch license from the FAA and is planning to launch New Glenn maiden flight no earlier than January 11th, so next week will be packed, so do not miss it. At Starbase, launch site, the tower number two and his launch mount was progressing as you would expect. The launch mount number one was getting ready for the next flight test number seven with Starship number 33 and booster number 14. That particular booster was later transported to the site and on his launch mount. Later on, it was kitted with explosives, part of his flight termination systems. SpaceX has published an update on this flight and we now know that one of the 33 engines on booster 14 comes from booster 12 which successfully landed on the Mechazilla arms. At the Massey site, the booster number 15 was going through its cryogenic tests and later returned to the production site for further work. At the production site, the Starship number 33 has been fitted with his simulated Starlink satellites through his payload door. It was finally rolled out to the launch site ahead of the flight test. The Starship number 35 nose cone was assembled to his payload section and transferred to the Mega Bay for continuing his assembly. A barrel section for Booster 17 was being assembled to other parts in the Mega Bay and in the Star Factory, SpaceX has started to work on an airlock prototype for his Starship Moon version called the Human Landing System for Artemis. At SpaceX Engine Factory, the McGregor site, the Raptor version 3 was being tested with his fourth article on the test rig. December 27th, CAS Space launched a Kinetica 1 for his mission Dear 3 from China. Sadly, this flight ended up with a failure of the first stage. December 29th, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 from California for his Starlink mission, Group 11-3. The first stage flew for the 16th time and landed on a drone ship. On the same day, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 from Florida for his mission, Astranis, from one to many. The first stage flew for his seventh time and landed on a drone ship. December 30th, ISRO launched a PSLV-CA rocket from India for his mission SpadeX 
to test docking capability of its future capsule. The last day of the year, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 from Florida for its Starlink mission Group 126. The first stage flew for its 16th time and landed on the drone ship. The first launch of the year goes to SpaceX on January 4th from Florida with a Falcon 9 for its mission Thuraya 4 NGS. The first stage flew for the 20th time and landed on a drone ship. January 6th, SpaceX launched a Falcon 9 for its Starlink mission Group 671 from Florida. The first stage flew for its 17th time and landed on a drone ship. On the same day, CSC launched a Long March 3BE from China for its mission Shri Huan 25. The last launch of these last two weeks was from SpaceX with a Falcon 9 from Florida for a Starlink mission Group 1211. The first stage flew for the third time and landed on a drone ship. In summary, from January 1st until December 31st, 2024, 261 rockets were launched successfully. Out of that, 159 were from an American company or institution, 66 from China and 6 from India. The big providers are SpaceX with 5 Falcon 9 with new boosters, 127 Falcon 9 with reused boosters, and 2 Falcon Heavies and 4 Starships. CISC was the second biggest with 49 launches across 8 different Long March rockets. And the graph shows steady and significant growth of SpaceX and how most worldwide providers are still relatively stable in their yearly cadence. I leave you this week with a panoramic view of Mars taken by the NASA Curiosity Mars rover, 225 million kilometers on average from us, or about 140 million miles. It has taken 251 individual images containing about 393 million pixels for NASA Jet Propulsion Laboratory to produce such a high-resolution view of Mount Sharp, a 5 km tall or 3 miles tall mountain found within Mars's Gale Crater. The largest mount is nicknamed Texoli, which has many stratigraphic layers that scientists can study to learn more about the formation of this region of Mars. Texoli stands about 160 meter high or 525 feet and that is the one on the left. Further to his right, another mount nicknamed Wilkerson, which is half the height of his neighbor. Curiosity has been studying this region called Geddes Valis for four years now and is moving to another area of Mars. This rover has been running remotely on Mars for over 4,500 days or just over 12 years and is still in good shape for continuing his research. I'm Christophe Paget for All About Space. See you at the next episode of Space News.